In this video, we'll be learning about how Scorpion's forward three and his stand two are his two strongest offensive tools in MK11. For starters, let's just look at the frame data. Scorpion's forward three is a 13 frame startup advancing mid with 15 frames of hit stun. Hit stun which forces the opponent into a standing state. On block, as you can see, it's only minus two. And on recovery, you can read that it has 17 frames of recovery, which is very quick for an advancing mid normal like this. So quick that many Scorpion players get away with Scorpion doing forward three into throw, forward three into pokes, and it's with good reason. The recovery is so fast that you can hardly react, and forward three has the forward three four string attached to it, which does good damage on hit, is safe on block at pushback with minus seven, and on counter hit, or punishes, you can see that it has a cancelable crushing blow attached to it. I should also demonstrate, just to make sure that I've told you everything about this pressure system, that 434 can be flawless blocked and up to punished for one defense and one offense bar. What? Scorpion's 4-3, as you already know, is very scary. Whether you're watching Scorpion tournament players play offline or running into them online, even the bad on them players, they know to use a lot of 4 or 3. Scorpion Stand 2 is a little bit lesser understood. It is a high attack with 9 frame startup. On block, it's actually plus 3. It has two strings attached to it. The first is 2 1, which is a cancelable 2 hit high mid string which gives you more than enough time to cancel into a full combo. On block, the 2-1 string is actually plus 2 on block, which allows your 7 frame down 1 to become a frame trap and counter hit the opponent. And there's a third hit string, 2-1-2, two, two, which we've seen quite a bit of, because it's plus 7 on block and a crushing blow in lawn combos. Combos that spend two bars usually look something like this if they're going to use the Crushing Blow. Psst, they don't actually usually look like that. That's a really optimal combo. It's a lot harder. We know about 2-1-2 two two on hit. On block, let's just demonstrate real quick that it's plus 7. So that's going to be quite a thing to deal with when you have a 13 frame advancing mid which automatically frame traps off of your 212 string on block. Sensibly there is a gap in 212 where you can get a down one poke to go through. Let's go back to Scorpion's 4 3 on hit. 15 frame hit stun. That's six more frames than the startup of this nine frame stand two. Stand two hits high, meaning the opponents can duck, right? Typically we don't want to deal with our hits whiffing, rather our hits not hitting at all. Our attacks whiff, we get full punish, we get poked, you know, it's not a good time. But because Scorpion's forward three, when it hits the opponent, makes them stand up, you have a window to dash at the opponent quickly, a micro dash we call it, and it makes your high stand to hit opponents that are trying to duck. And this is also true if they're ducking and blocking. I can record this. Duck block, I'm still forced to block this high, even though I'm ducking on block, obviously, I'm not jailed because I'm not forced to stand. So moving on, we remember that Scorpion's Stand 2 has a hit confirmable string off of it. Let's use that on a stray forward 3 hit and confirm into combos. So we're going to set the opponent to auto block. He blocks standing even when the AI is set to duck because he has no other options. 4-3 guarantees that. If we set the opponent to stand, we're in throw range off of 2-1. 
that's some juice right there. That's really good. I am the AI doing 4-3 into 2-1 and then using the plus frames of 2-1 on block to counter hit this scorpion mashing. I'm, see, no matter what, it's a counter hit. So I'm going to get it again. Duck block, counter hit. People being afraid of taking the down one poke, which has a lot of hits done in itself, they're going to get thrown. So they're blocking, waiting for your down one frame trap. Of course they get thrown. It's quite simple. So this keeps getting better and better the more you discover and the more you think about it. I'm going to block, get hit. The down one on its own has enough hit advantage and also forces the opponent to stand. Let's say you've landed your stray 4-3 and you force the opponent to block your 2-1. Down one's your only frame trap, right? And down three. That doesn't seem so rewarding to just be able to down one them and maybe throw them after or down one them again. That's not really good enough for Scorpion standards. What changes everything is that Scorpion's low pokes also both force the opponent into a standing state for long enough so that 2-1 jails again even if they're trying to dock. So like this. The crouching character is forced into a standing state to block high. Same is true off of down one. So a down one is a huge amount of, amount of momentum because it allows you to jail into a hit confirmable plus on block string. I'll be able to hit confirm the 2-1 off of my poke frame trap. Like that. Speaking of hit confirms, forward three has another layer of threat because it itself, with Reborn's Teleport Cancel, is hit confirmable. Success rate is looking pretty high. I think that's fair enough evidence that Scorpion's 4-3 is hit confirmable on its own. So then you have two amazing options. You can do just the normal, which on hit lets you jail into a hit confirmable string that's plus on block. Or you can hit confirm. Don't forget that you have a crushing blow on the full 4-3-4 string if the opponent becomes wary of your 4-3s into counter pokes. If the opponent becomes wary of your forward three into pokes and throws. Here's the optimal combo. Forty-five. But it gets even better in the corner. You can end your two bar combos with two one. And two one has nineteen frames of hit advantage. Don't cancel this, let it rock. You don't need the damage at the end of a combo. What you can do with that 19 frames of hit advantage in the corner, or anywhere actually, but in the corner it's especially good, is standing reset the opponent once again into another standing two. So they're set to auto block now. The stand two is plus three on block. That's even more than 2-1, and that's especially useful because plus three is all you need to make your 10 frame throw become a frame trap. So I'm gonna be the defending scorpion and I'm gonna mash down one after blocking stand two. And you can see I get throw countered. The throw out prioritizes the normal in situations where there would normally be a trade. So let's move back to mid screen. You have even more time than you have with forward 3 after 2-1 to dash up and do another 2-1, which you can either hit confirm, which you can tick throw off of, 
So now the opponent is going to demonstrate for us how potent this tick throw game can be, even at mid-screen. Off of 2-1, you can get your stand to frame trap throw even at mid-screen. And once again, I get counter hit by the throw. And so that's your tick throw off of 2-1 once they're afraid of your frame trap normals after 2-1. Down one in a frame trap throw. It's the MK11 classic. It is old reliable. It's something you're going to have a lot of access to if you properly incorporate 2 1 on block into your game. Same is true for stand 2 on block in your game. The icing on cake is once the opponent is scared enough of your mind games off of 2 1 and off of stand 2, 2 1, stand 2, and all the stuff you do after 2 1, whether it's throw, whether it's down one, whether it's down three, that amount of options makes the opponent pretty much unlikely to be ready for the occasional 2-1-2, two, two, which is plus seven on block, easily frame traps into a throw in the corner, and easily frame traps into your forward three for either a hit confirm or a crushing blow combo. That's a wealth of options. This is very, very good for Scorpion. Let's summarize and review. 4-3, even from pretty far away, with a quick micro dash, will jail even ducking and ducking blocking opponents into a 2-1 from Scorpion. Two one is hit confirmable and plus two one block, meaning it's incredibly rewarding. 2-1 on hit, which you do at the end of your combos, also lets you micro dash into another 2-1 or stand 2 or whatever you'd like to do for your pressure. In the corner, you won't even have to micro dash. So, stand 2 plus 3 frame drop throw, 2-1-2. Plus seven frame trap throw and four three plus two and plus three also let you frame trap with down three and down one. Down three is a little bit harder frame trap with because it's one frame slower, but it still will frame trap with two one, which is plus two on block. Let's just go through the block options again real quick. That's a frame trap. That's a frame trap. Once they're afraid of the frame traps, that will start working. And once they're afraid of all those options, this may start working. With enough conditioning from 2-1, people will be less ready for stand 2, which actually frame traps into your throw and into your low pokes. What's the final layer of the mind games off of all of this tech? It's actually the simplest option. Just doing your jailing normal into a throw. Throw countered my stand one, got my uppercut. The same idea applies easily to 2-1 on hit at the end of your 2-bar combo as well. Throw counter. So yeah, I think that's enough for one recording. To conclude, in this pressure system, there's no easy way out, and the defender has to guess against Scorpion, and even if they guess right blocking, what they've blocked is stand 2 or 2-1 two or maybe 2-1-2, two two, which all lead to more pressure afterwards. That's it.